Hey, this is Dion, Cold Pioneers. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I make my tutorials uh, using a green screen so that I can uh, delete out this background here in the basement where I'm recording all of these videos at. So this is a response to one of my subscribers that asked me, hey, how do you make those tutorials with the background deleted out? So it's actually pretty easy. You only need a green screen and just some software that's gonna delete it out. So let's get the green screen right now. I'm gonna go to the other part of the basement and we are going to grab the green screen right there. And it's huge. And we're gonna need this soft box right there too. So we'll need the soft box and I think I'm gonna grab this um, this LED light here too. So we can have some nice uh, even lighting. Right. I'm gonna just set the camera up right over here on this uh, popcorn maker. set the green screen up in the chair there. Green screen is ready. And I'll do a little spin. But um, so right now I just have like this overhead light, but we want the lighting on the green screen as even as possible. That's what's gonna make it uh, easier to delete out the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the softbox light back there and also the, the LED light so we can see if we can get rid of some of the shadows. So let's see what happens. Okay, so hopefully I have the lighting set up uh, in a way that it's easy to, to delete this background out. Um, there is the soft box there, and there's the LED. So I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod now and start recording, and let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm here in Camtasia and I have the, the green screen up here and I feel like I'm in that movie Inception where I'm like in a dream within a dream here. But let's go ahead and delete this background out of here. So I'm gonna go to more visual effects and remove color. And I'm just gonna drag it into there. And now what we have to do is what I normally do is just grab like the eyedropper tool and like I still didn't get this as even as I wanted it to but see this this side is a little bit lighter than that side so normally I go like in the middle of the lightest and the darkest spot and as you can see I just deleted the background out but I still see a little bit there so now I can go in and play around with this tolerance so that it deletes all the way. And what I want to do is I want to I want to see how this looks over the the white part. All right, cool. There we go. And so now I can see like more of it. I don't want to be fooled by like a dark background. And I'm just playing with the tolerance a little bit here. And I'm trying to see where. All right. And so there's the tolerance. Now let's go and play around with this, um, the softness a little bit. And I also have some different greens in here saved. So I can play with 
different greens that I've used. <laughs> um, and this one actually looks good here, this green. So let's see here. Cause this side is actually a good example uh, for like when, but um, you know, of course I'm gonna be smaller <laughs> when it gets to the tutorial part. Um, on this part, I'll probably stay in front of this cool little space background. Don't ask me why I'm using this. I just, I just like it. It's cool, but I can, I can shrink this down um, on this particular part here. So let's see here. Um, let's go to animations and customs. And this is just for demonstration purposes. So when I get to, to this part here, for the tutorial part, I can shrink myself down. And I could put myself there so it looks like the boom mic is coming out of that browser. So, you know, just little extra little effects you can uh, use to help the situation out. Um, it, it opens up a little bit, but that's still not enough. So, even if we set this to all, that's pretty much how you do it. And so this is an actual tutorial that I'm going to probably edit the, this tutorial, edit this video and um, and put it out there. But that's how you do a green screen. That's how you can do it with your tutorials. I think um, iMovie and other software does it too. You don't have to spend all this money on Camtasia. I just like Camtasia better. It was the easiest to use and it had the most features. So that's why I use Camtasia, but you can do the same thing in iMovie, just in a little bit of a different way. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, I'm not sure what you're waiting on. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.